so we have completed doing the material loading for the slabs now we have to do for columns and wall but the challenge here is columns and wall are in separate material takeoff list so we have one takeoff for columns and another one for the walls we would have to merge these two so let's export column first Now let's also export walls quantity over here. So let's save. Okay. Let's come to our sheet. Let's go to file. Let's open. So structural column. Let's also do for walls. Let's click on finish. So we would have to command the quantity over here. Let's take the walls quantity into a column schedule. So let's paste the values. We have to do the same thing what we did earlier for slab. We have to remove this meter cube text from here let's replace with a cube with replace with nothing okay and let's add them cool so we have the quantity over here for the columns and wall so this was our template so the information we need again is the activity ID or the column wall. So let's select the first column wall activity, the last column wall activity, copy. And then let's just paste in an extra file. Let's delete all the extra information or it's okay even if you don't delete it. You just need the activity ID over here. So let's select all the activity ID for column walls. Let's come to a template let's clear this information let's clear this information so it does not create any confusion let's paste again so the selection is gone let's come back copy and then paste so you see that is why it was necessary to clear the information before we pasted this information because like we saw earlier that the number of flows is 12 and the levels are 11 so the slab has 12 activities and the column would be 11 activities so this is what we are noticing the difference over here let's delete the extra one let's come and copy our value let's paste it away again cool now we have all the information that we need and then we are still noticing some difference over here so if you see there is an extra space over here we need to remove this space from all of the activity id and then let's just come here space replace all okay let's come to p6 again this is assignment now we have only slab activity showing up over here now once we do this we can also see columns material loading coming over here i will select import type resource assignment because this is the only information that will highlight because that is the only information that we have in in our template and p6 have recognized that next let's select the project again next click on finish voila we can see the magic happening again
now we have the quantity showing up we have slab quantity we have the columns quantity if we sort by the finished date again we can see the total quantities based on the dates so we have column and slab quantities that are going as per the durations over here even when we come to the activities and when we look at the quantities loaded within the activity you can see the quantity right here so once we keep moving down to different activities you can notice the volume of material that has been loaded on that activity